this tale starts out many years ago when the ancient ones discovered a wooden statue in the middle of their forest near their little town. Oh, you want to hear more? Well, why don't I just show you? We still talk many years ago, where people called the Ancient Ones found a statue made of wicker. Now, what is this? This looks like some sort of ritual statue. Some ancientness. Smells like fire in there. Smoke burning. What do you have to say about this, Agnes? Well, well, Jeremy, it seems. This is similar to the legend of our town. From the Wicker Man, a massive statue that would come to life one day to bring us eternal freedom and joy. But we'd have to bring a sacrifice to it, a gift. And that gift will be someone in 20 years time, probably in some time like 2018. I think 2023 is better. No, no, definitely 2018. Um, anyway, this statue here, we shall have to cherish it. But one day, we will have to put someone in it. That, um, I have a question. Uh, that sounds dumb. What did you say? What's your name, boy? I'm a pirate from the mutiny. Have you ever heard the legend of the mutiny? It's an old ghost ship. Okay, I don't need to hear your whole life story. I need to be focused on the wicker Fred now. The wicker Fred? Yes, the wicker Fred is a perfect name for it. Freddy, Funtime Foxy, go set up supports. And it's you, Fox, you're coming with me. No! Yeah, set up supports. We need to support this statue. So maybe we should stand here in front of it. Yes, then he shall never fall over. <laughs> yes, good work, you two. Now I'm going to see what what Jeremy and the fox are getting up to. Is that a cat sneezing? Should we go to the nearby flume? Nah, that got turned down. Oh, really? No, not yet. Oh. <laughs> Fox! Who are you? What do you do? Uh, uh, if you must know, I'm the leader of the town called Mutiny Bay. It's home to many great exquisites near the water and the seas. It's quite near here, actually. Right next door. Oh, right next door to our village in the in our gardens. Yes, he planted it here on purpose. He knows the tales. He's heard us. He's probably just built this statue. No, it's real. The tale must the tale must be true for some reason. And this fox here, he seems like a perfect sacrifice. No, no, I, I'm, I'm not ready yet. Oh, yes, you are. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. 
Lisa drags him to the wicker bag. We have our sacrifice. Wait. The story tells that we need to wait 20 years after discovering it. It has not been 20 years. That's right. And you're not going to get me. <laughs> oh, we can just keep you locked up for 20 years. I'll get out somehow. You know I will. No, you won't. <laughs> God. We don't have any gods. Oh, let's just throw him in the prison. Yeah. Get in there with all the cat toys. I don't want to go with the cat toys. The weird. No. I'm going with them anyway. I don't care. Uh, Honestly, he thinks that this wicked man is a joke, probably. Like a friend. Yeah, whatever. He thinks this is a joke? No. It's real. Realer than you can ever imagine. Who are you talking to? The sacrifice. And 20 years away. 10 years later. I can live a bit of 10 years away. It's so annoying. Oh, that's good. Wait, you still standing there after all this time? Yeah, we need to guard the wicker man, of course. Do you not believe it? Ugh. Of course I don't believe in this stupid wicker man. This thing is obviously a joke. Probably something that some... Probably something that can be turned into a movie. Like something from a movie properly. Movie. A more real than anything I think. No, they're not. Not this one. Why does it look like he's looking at me? He's not ever alone like you who doesn't believe in him. Isn't that right, Freddy? Huh? What? Oh, uh, yeah, probably. I, did you not even listen to what I said? Of course. No, yeah. Ugh, oh, not dealing with this. I had to go back to my mutiny bag and battle gallons. See ya, suckers! <laughs> ah, come on! How did he escape already? We had him locked up for ten years now. It was just a decade away. I, I know. But I don't care. Um. It looks. Ten years later. <coughs> so. Pucking Springtrap, you were saying you had something to show us? Yeah, anyway, it's been nice seeing you after all this time. Oh, yeah, adventure. Springtrap, um, are you sure it's all been 20 years since we discovered it? I'm sure of it. Must be. I said the calendar. Seen what? Oh, uh, nothing. Come on. <laughs> Wait, Freddy? Fun time, Foxy? What's going on here? And why is not your Freddy there? Nightmare Freddy? Oh, he's no nightmare. Here, he is the one that needs the sacrifice, and you two are the perfect sacrifices. Sacrifices? What are you talking about? We need to sacrifice him to this big statue here. He's not Nightmare Freddy, but he's Wilfred. Oh my god. That's such a dumb name. Look, he's not even alive. It looks like his eyes are on fire. Because he's angry for a sacrifice. No, he just lit his eyes on fire. Why do you have to ruin the surprise? No, you're all rash. Stop arguing, you two. We have no time for baffling arguments. 
need to get home with the ceremony. For years, the elders have told about one day when we would get freedom and joy. But, but before that, we would have to. This wicker man would give it, but we'd have to give him a gift first, and that gift is you. Feed the flames. Feed. Do you see yourself burning in him? You, Joe, do you see yourselves in him? Let the ceremony commence. Well, that's not good. Yeah, you think? <laughs> what are you doing? You don't need to do this. Yes, we do. We'll be given eternal freedom. No, you won't. It's just a story. Stop it. <sighs> yup. <laughs> the statue. It's, it's broken. The statue. You broke it. How could you do such a bad job of protecting it? You. Uh, it, the ceremony has just begun and you already broke it. Springtrap. Stop it. No. I'm not going to stop it. Okay. So we're supposed to go perfectly. And I did it. Springtrap. Come to. Don't tell me what to do. Some people. You believe the story. A random story had no evidence to it. I'm just an ordinary guy here. Sleeps for twenty sleeps for thirty years. You caught me ten you caught me one third through. What? Are you British or Australian? I can't even tell. Who knows, mate? Who knows? Anyway, uh you're a good a sacrifice, there's not actually one, because I'm a good girl, so, uh, goodbye now. <laughs> um, oh, as for you two, uh, you and Freddy, and Spring, and you spy over here, go on, let me, yeah. As for you two, uh, you two, Freddy, go, so as everyone else, but not Spring, he, he was evil. He tried to attack you too. It's not good. Not good at all. Uh, I will bring you to freedom. Because I have lots of powers and stuff. So I can just bring you lot freedom. And I'll make this your springy bar spring trap good again. But uh, she'll just have to be deactivated for a while. Oh. Well, that's not too bad. Yeah, it's not. Uh, good seeing you guys again. Uh, yeah. That's all, really. You can stay around if you want, or you can leave. Ooh, put a sticker around, I think. Thank you, too, for uh, showing the wrongs of our ways. Rick, a friend, please. Call me Big Freddy. Yeah, Big Freddy, thank you for uh, sorting that spring trap out. I don't know what sort of thing he put into our minds. Try to seem like we... Need a sacrifice? Yeah. You were never like that. No. Don't thank me. Uh, what? <coughs> <coughs> so I get so throaty sometimes. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's okay. Um, not wanna help. Maybe you can help those two right there. Freddy and Funtime Foxy. Maybe you can help them. They're broken bones and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, also, can you bring spring trap over to me? Okay. Ah, spring trap. Uh. Ugh. Ugh. Oh. Oh. 
One thing you said. Oh, I can fix those two, but spring trap. I can't fix you. Ugh. Living tombstone's gonna copyright you. Ugh. Just a uh, rest, rest up, and then you'll be fine. Really? I'll just use my powers to uh, heal you. You'll be fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it's that easy. Thanks, you're quite sure. Chill. Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for coming, everyone. See you again in the next video. Who are you talking?